Hi guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Wiser Biker. I'm Di Hua, and today is the day you've been waiting for. I know you guys are very excited, just like we are, because today we are going to give you our review of this all new Polygon Helios. And the model we have gotten here is the A8X. So I've tested it for about four weeks and I've got a lot of things to tell you about. This is an awesome bike. Let us thank Rodaling Singapore because they are kind enough to loan us this bike for our testing and uh, to make this review possible. So thank you very much, Rodaling Singapore and Polygon. So quickly, let's start. And I've got a lot to tell you. Now the Polygon Helios is a full carbon race bike and the frame is made of the top tier carbon from Polygon which is the AZX carbon It's UCI approved, the frame itself only weighs 878 grams As for the handlebar, this is one of the latest in the market and it is from Vision, it's a Vision Metron 5D ACR fully integrated handlebar For the group set, the one that I'm riding on right now has got a full Shimano well, in fact, it is the latest full Shimano R8170 DI2 group set and it's running on a disc brake for the crank set, I've got a semi-compact which is a 5236T combination and for the cassette, it's 11340T spread over 12 speed as for the carbon wheel set, this is from Entity and it's the WR500 carbon wheel set it's 50mm deep and it's fitted with a Suave 1 tyre, 28mm wide So how does this bike feel? Okay, first off, this is a race bike and that's why the riding posture is made to be a lot more aggressive than the SAD that we tried early on Now, definitely you can expect this bike to be a lot faster and it's proven Look at my previous video where we went to TMCR you can see that I actually hit around 48 kilometers per hour on the flat and it was with a bit of headwind and I don't even have my clippers on and I could hit 48 you know how crazy this bike is now even at that high speed I couldn't feel a lot of vibration from the ground so the vibration dampening is definitely done well by this bike what about the climb? now I know you guys are interested about the climb just as I am uh, a lot of climbers out there I know well for the climb the bike is awesome as well again check my previous outdoor video and you saw you can see that I went to hand on my usual playground and at the climb with this bike I was able to hit a new personal best and that is a good seven seconds of my previous best result the bike itself weighed at 7.95 kg without pedal now other than that the bike is also very responsive because of the steepness, the compliance it's all done well and I'll tell you more about the technology behind it later now let me enjoy a bit of this ride and at this beautiful place alright now let's take a closer look at this bike and dissect the full detailed specification of the Helios now as I mentioned earlier on the Helios is a UCI approved race bike and it is a full carbon race bike that means the frame the fork, the handlebar, the seat post, as well as the wheel sets, they are all carbon. And in particular, the frame is made by Polygon using their top tier carbon, which is the ACX carbon. The bare frame itself without paint only weighed 878 grams. Right, so that we have seen the whole frame set, let's take a look at the aerodynamic features, which I think all of you are very interested. So let's start off with the frame. Now, Polygon said that this Helios frame set is built to mimic the shape of a raindrop which they find to have a very good aerodynamic shape in terms of reducing the drag. Another feature is this bladed fork which is one of the must-have now if you are talking about aerodynamics. Well, the seat stay is also lower creating a smaller triangular space here and that helps in reducing the air trap in turn improving the aerodynamics now all in all with all these aerodynamic features the bike is able to reduce the drag by 24 percent as compared to its predecessor let's talk more about this vision metron 5d acr integrated handlebar now uh, 
what I like about it is not just the look that is very cool, but it is also very practical in terms of its usage. It's very stiff and it's got a compact drop bar. So if you're on the drop and doing a spring, this bike can really pick up very fast. This handlebar also has very good vibration dampening. Now, I was able to travel at high speed on the flat and I couldn't feel much of a vibration from the road. And my hands, in turns, was very comfortable. There was no numbness at all, even after a long ride. And all the cables are all routed internally, all hidden into the inside of this handlebar. So it's so neat. Everything goes in from the handlebar, through the stem and into the frame. Now, I also like the handlebar's top grip. It is very wide and therefore it's very comfortable when you want to rest your hand on it. As for the group set, these Helios that we have here, the A8X is using a full Shimano R8170 DI2 group set, uh, which is the Altegra group set. And it's the latest one, that means it's got a 12 speed at the back. And I tell you, I thought the Altegra mechanical group set was already so good, so premium, but this is just another level up. Now I know that I uh, previously I told you the R8000 was so good, so precise and so nice to grip. But this R8170 Di2 is just way better. And because it's electronic, now there's no more lever movements. Uh, all I need to do is just press the buttons to do the shifting. The shifting is quick and it's precise. And if you press and hold the buttons, you can do multiple shiftings. And I just feel so pampered by this group set. The crank set is a semi-compact setup. So it is a 52 by 36 T combination. As for the rear, it's a 12 speed, 11 T to 34 T. Now you can imagine with these gear combinations, you can really go very fast on a flat road and at the same time you will have no problem doing any sort of climbs. And uh, just a little bit of information for you for this new DI2 group set. Now there's only one charging port and it's hidden here and a full charge takes about two hours and it can last you for 1000 kilometers of ride. As for the disc brakes, the front disc brake is a 1 six zero diameter as for the rear it is 140 and these are the latest disc brakes from shimano the brakes are now wider apart so it, there's a lower chance of your disc scratching your brake pads the wheel set that this helios is using is a entity wr500 carbon wheel set it is 50 mm deep and it is tubeless ready the hub itself is also from entity and I have weighted both wheels, all in all, front and back wheels weighs about 1,850 grams, which is slightly on the heavy side. And it's equipped with a Swabby one tubeless ready tire, 700 times 28C. Lastly, the saddle that we have got here on this bike is the Entity Flux 2 saddle. Now, let me tell you what are the things I love about this Helios. Number one, of course, is the value that you are getting out of this bike. Like we have mentioned before, Polygon is really a brand that throws a lot of value at you. Just look at the components you are getting. This Metron handlebar itself costs around eight to nine hundred dollars in retail price, and the Di2 group set is around three thousand six hundred dollars in retail price, and that is already four thousand over dollars in components. Now, if you do the math, that means for the rest of the components, you are just paying 2000 plus and you get a premium superior make carbon fiber frame. At this price point, you can hardly find any other race bikes from other brands that offers equivalent components. The next thing I like about it is the carbon frame and the carbon fork that we have here on the Helios. The frame has got a longer head tube, a higher stack, Therefore, it's got a longer effective top tilt and with this, I'm able to ride a more aggressive posture and that means more arrow. Another thing that I like about the frame is the stiffness. In fact, it's the overall stiffness. 
Now Polygon said that they have actually enhanced the bottom bracket, the C stay and the chain stay to create that overall improvement of stiffness. Well, I can only tell you when I ride this bike and compare it to SAD, it is much more responsive and it's quicker when I was doing a sprint or when I was trying to do a climb. Lastly about the frame, I liked the tire clearance. It can go up to 32 mm tires, but now I've got a 28 tire fitted on it and it already feel very comfortable when I was riding this. Guys, let me know, do you think that the 28 mm tires are going to be the new norm? Are you already using 28 mm or bigger? And the Helios is really a very modern looking bike. And I like all these concealed cables, all the internal cable routing. It just makes the bike so neat and so tidy. I mean, who doesn't like a bike with such clean look? What else do I like? Well, DI2 group set. This is latest from Shimano. Now, uh, I know that some of you still prefer mechanical group sets. I know the DI2 group set is a bit more expensive, but uh, it actually worth all the money that you're paying for, in my opinion, because uh, in terms of performance, neatness to say, and in terms of maintenance, there's actually very little maintenance to be done on a DI2 group set. Um, you don't have to tighten the cable tension. You don't have to change the cable. There's hardly any mechanical parts for you to change. And it actually lasts very long and very well. Now, I know that some of you uh, will be concerned about the tuning part of the DI2, but in fact, DI2 is easier to tune than a mechanical group set itself. Now, so what are the things that I don't like about this bike? Yes, there are a couple of things that I don't like this bike, despite that it is so beautiful and so nice and uh, one of them being the handlebar now this is i've said a lot of good things about this handlebar yes it, and indeed it is a very good handlebar but it's just that not everyone would uh, love a one piece handlebar some people may not like it some people like a uh, two piece so with a two piece handlebar it's actually uh, it allows me to do more adjustments uh, i can do the tilt or I can also adjust the shifters. But now with a, a one-piece handlebar, you've got to be very sure about your feet, your reach, because you can't really change a stem to a longer stem or shorter stem for that matter. And you can't really adjust the tilt of the handlebar. So all you can do are just to play, it's just to play around with the shifters. And another thing about the handlebar, well, maybe it's just a minor thing, but is that it got to use a specific kind of uh, bike computer mount to fit this nice knee. And usually it's called a race mount, but uh, not all the bike computers come with a race mount uh, as their standard package. So you have to spend more to buy a third party mount just to fit onto this handlebar. I like the geometry of this bike because it allows me to ride at a more aggressive posture. But well, it is not uh, every rider would like it because uh, it really depends on the training or the type of ride that you are on. Now, I also don't like the color of this bike. I know that I mentioned that uh, black is always a safe color and you cannot really go wrong. But looking at this, uh, it is not really brilliant in my opinion. Well, it's not that the paintwork is done poorly or the finishing is bad, not really that. But I would love to have the Polygon logo more obvious. I mean, if you're riding this bike, you really want people to know that it is the Polygon Helios. So it will help very much to have a bow or at least the outline that is very contrasting to the bike. Oh, that would be absolutely beautiful. and makes the bike a lot more insta-worthy. And how I wish they have got more color choices. I mean, at least one more for each category. And lastly, let's talk about the wheels. Uh, I really, I'm really not a fan of Entity wheels. Uh, last, the last time round for the SAD, we got a aluminum wheel set and that was a really heavy set of aluminum wheel set. And now for a 
the Helios is running on a carbon wheel set from NTT. Now we have measured the carbon wheel set and it's slightly on the heavier side even though it's a carbon wheel set. What is the benchmark? I mean we benchmark against a good performance 50 mm carbon wheels from other brands and usually it weighs about 1500 gram but this is about 1850 gram so it's 350 grams heavier than the norm and not just about the weight of these carbon wheels but also the performance of the carbon wheels um, is is a bit under my expectation right uh in the recent event at shimano cycling world that we have tested the dura ace wheel set as well and it's a similar wing depth at 50 mm carbon wheel set it was a lot more responsive and it, it was just much better to ride on the saddle is also something that i don't really fancy well this is the entity flux 2 saddle i find it a little bit soft for me but again i think this is a very individual uh is a very individual kind of thing and each rider has got a different build a different butt so maybe it will work for you but to me it's definitely not suitable Who is the bike for? Now I think this bike is not really built for beginners so if you're just starting to ride you may want to consider other options but it is really a bike that is built for people who want to get a lot a lot of speed out of their ride so if you are thinking of getting into a race or if you just simply enjoy speed the sheer joy of riding very very fast on flats as well on climbs then you should really give these Helios a serious consideration because they've got so much value in it this bike has got every components I mean practically everything right for you to go very very fast except the wheels and if you just change out the wheel set to a high performance carbon wheel set then you are going to go very very fast and you're going to squeeze the maximum potential out of this bike you can get the bike down to less than 7.5 kg and that is very very respectable in a road bike category this bike is retailed at 6299 this price point is crazy i mean it is extremely high value so where can you get this bike now you can refer to Rodaling Singapore or you can just check out the description below for more information. That's all I have for you today for the Polygon Helios review. Once again, I want to thank Rodaling Singapore for lending us this awesome bike for this review. And do remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. We really appreciate your support. I hope to see you again with more bike reviews. Now let's hear the Polygon Helios Entity WR500 wheels. We're going to do a hub sound test now.